Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, we have discussed how would you backup and restore uh, an Azure workloads. Um, we have seen how would you backup Azure virtual machines, um, whether it's um, pre-installed with SQL Server or even uh, with other applications. We have also seen how would you backup and restore Azure files. Today, I'm going to show you how would you backup and restore your on-premises Windows infrastructure. So whether they are Windows client or Windows server, you can actually backup and restore uh, files and folders plus the system state. So let's jump into the Azure portal. I'm in the Azure portal. So before the video, I have created a, a virtual machine that will act as an on-premises uh, server, which is web server one. And then I, con I have connected to the um, Windows machine. Now I have also uh, created a Microsoft Recovery Services Vault, uh, which exists in UK South at, uh, region, which is going to be the um, destination region to store uh, or to backup and restore the backup from. Now to backup your on-premises infrastructure, um, you have many different agents that you can use. But today specifically, um, this agent is only used for Windows um, client or Windows server machines. To do that, what you need to do is to search for Recovery Services Vault then go to your um, Microsoft Recovery Services Vault. If you remember from the last videos, um, it's a service that you can use it for backup and uh, disaster recovery. So whether your workloads exist on Azure or on-premise or even on another cloud provider, you still can use Microsoft Azure Backup um, anywhere. Now, um, to, to backup your on-premises uh, windows, what you need to do is just to click on Backup. And then it will ask you a few questions here. Where is your workload um, running? Now we have covered the um, the Azure workloads. We have seen like you know virtual machines, Azure files, shares. Uh, we have seen SQL Server uh, um, in Azure VM. Um, I don't have an SAP uh, like a workload to test the Azure backup, but it's also uh, an SAP certified solution. Now what I will do is convert to uh, on premises. And then I will select the first um, option here. I would like to backup files and folders. Notice that you can uh, backup many different workloads. You can backup Linux machines. You can backup v VMware virtual machines, whether they are Windows or Linux or Hyper-V machines um, or even Microsoft SQL Server, SharePoint and Exchange. However, it will use a different agent that we will cover in another video. Today we are going to use the Mars agent or Microsoft Recovery agent. So we will select Microsoft um, files and folders and also system state. If we do that, then we click on the prepare infrastructure here. Notice that you have two options. If you um, are using system center data protection manager, which is uh, an on-premises backup solution, you can actually integrate with um, system center data protection manager, or you can download the backup uh, agent directly to that Windows machine. As you can see here um, from the instructions, the first step is to download the backup agent or the Mars agent uh, for your Windows or Windows client. Then you download the Vault credential. So just click on download and then um, copy the Mars agent into your on-premises Windows machine. Once you have done that, that you can actually start installing the Mars agent here. So notice here that it's asking you for two, um, two option or two locations. The first one is where I'm going to install this application. So you can select uh, the path um, that suits you. And the other one is also the cache location. So uh, Microsoft Recovery Agent doesn't really backup directly to Azure, but what it does is actually it store it on a cache storage first and then synchronize it to the Azure backup um, to make sure that, um, that your backup data is safe and so on. So now what we will do, I will just select C program um, because this is the only uh, like, you know, the only uh, partition I have here on my Windows machine. Let me just take a look here. Yeah, it's only the C drive. The D drive is actually um, it's not a storage. So we click next. And then um, if you have a, a proxy setting, so if you are using proxy or your machine is connected uh, through the Internet uh, through a proxy server, you can specify that proxy. If not, then you just can click next, which means that we will use the internet directly. Um, I will also check the, if there is any update available for the Mars agent, and then I will click install. 
we have successfully installed the Microsoft Recovery Services Agent. Now we need to register this um, server to the Azure Backup Server. So what we will do is just click on Proceed um, to Registration. As you can see here, um, it's asking for the Vault credentials and normally you need to download this from the Azure portal as well. So the first step is that we have successfully installed the uh, Recovery Services Agent. Now you need to download the uh, like you know the server vault credential. So I'll just say I've already downloaded the uh, the agent and then I will I need the credentials. Copy that credentials inside the virtual machine. In my case, I'm copying this into my desktop. And then you can select um, like you know the vault credential. As you can see, it's automatically. Uh, pick the backup or the recovery services vault name so you will see um, so notice first before I just discuss this one is that this vault credential is va is valid for 10 days after that you need to re-download again the vault credential um, so if we go back here which is okay you will see that my vault name is test backup right so which is picking up the same one here test and then it exists on UK South and this is the subscription and the vault credential Click next and then you need to generate a password here. So this is the password that you will use it, uh, to restore your backup data. If uh, um, we recommend to use a an Azure Key Vault to store your password. If you don't have one, you can keep it anywhere. Um, so for this demo purpose, I will just select uh, uh, the desktop here. And then I'll say hey, this is the Vault Restore uh, Password and click OK. But we highly recommend that you keep um, the passwords um, on the Azure Key Vault because it's a, it's a managed HSM which allow you to store, like you know, the secrets and keys um, safely on Azure. So you click on Finish and make sure you never lose that uh, Vault uh, password. As you can see, um, the the agent successfully registered itself to the Azure Backup, and then you can see here that. Um, it's showing you a warning that hey, the the password, uh, the backup password are actually stored here. So remember, that's not safe. So because if you have a ransomware attack or anything, so that's a, a cybersecurity risk. Now we can click close and launch the Microsoft Azure Recovery uh, Vault. Notice here, this is the the backup agent that you will use to backup and restore um, your data. So you can see here it's installed directly into your Windows machine, whether it's Windows uh, Server or a Windows Client machine. And then you can click on Schedule Backups. So as you can see, these are uh, the controls that you can use. So uh, I'm just going to click Next. And then here uh, it's asking you which uh, partition you would like to backup. So you can select the entire C drive or maybe um, you're not interested in everything, maybe you, you're interested in users uh, um, folder. So I can add, and of course you can also do exclusions as well if you selected the entire drive. Now click next. Um, you as you can see here, you have uh, the minimum is daily, and then you can back up three times per day, so which is um, a lot, so you can start 9 a.m., then maybe back up at um, 10 and then maybe uh, 10 a.m. Like 11 as well. OK. And then click on next. Uh, you can see here it's also asking you for the backup retention. So how many uh, weeks or the weekly retention, the daily retention or the monthly retention and yearly retention. This is actually there is no best practice here. Um, this requirement um, differ from one customer to the other. So it's really about you. Some customers says, okay, I want to keep the data for eight years or maybe some other customers. This this is not really important. So I'm just going to keep it for uh, like, you know, 180 days as you can see here. And then we click next. These are the options that you can use. Um, so to transfer the backup data, you can actually do it over the network. Um, uh, but this is will consume the internet. Normally with smaller machines, you can transfer over the network. But if you are having like a file server where you have over 100 terabytes, um, you could use actually or could order a data box into your data center or even transfer it using your own disk. So 
what we will do in this scenario is we're gonna transfer it online to the Microsoft Azure backup and then it's confirming our choices and then click on finish so that's it it's successfully created the backup schedule now because we will not wait till the uh, like you know the backup schedule uh, kick off we will just click on backup now and then click on uh, files and folder um, the C let's say I want to keep this um, till tomorrow the retention and then I can click on backup as you can see it's starting to take a snapshot which will cache it onto into the temporary storage first uh, locally on the virtual machine then it will transfer this to the Microsoft recovery services vault um, if you have noticed that we manage everything from that recovery agent it's no longer gonna be managed from the Azure portal so if you compare um, the previous videos we, we used to create backup policies for the Azure virtual machines, for your uh, file server, for like the Azure files or your SQL database. But uh, for your on-premises infrastructure, you have to manage everything from the actual agent itself. So it has the backup schedules, it has the backup policy, everything has to be managed from the uh, virtual machine. The only way that you will be able to see it, if we are lucky, we can see it from here from the backup jobs we should see something here as well so if we refresh we, sh we should see something here but it will take time and also if we click on the backup infrastructure we should be able to see that there is one agent registered here so if you have uh, an, uh, workloads in Azure VM you will see it but for, for us we will see that there is web server 1 uh, and the agent is 2.9 uh, like you know this is the agent version and then the backup item uh, count is 1 so you can see here um, there is like a um, like a like a reflection on the Azure portal as well. Okay. Now, if when we use other um, types of solution, when you use the Azure Backup Server, which is or integrate with the System Center Data Protection Manager, we will also see this in the Azure portal as well. Now let's go back and take a look here. As you can see, um, the data transferred and uh, compressed and include the metadata as well. Okay, so now the backup uh, were successful. We can actually recover the data. We can click on recover. And then it will ask you which server do you want to recover. You can select another server um, or you can also backup to the same server. Uh, sorry, restore to the same server. So click on next. Now, from where do you want to restore? Uh, the primary region, yes. Next. Is it individual files? and folder or you want to recover if you're backing up system state or the volume so you can actually say I want to uh, restore a specific files and folders so we can select this one and then select the volumes that you uh, that you have uh, uh, chosen uh, or you have uh, selected uh, during your backup and then it will tell you exactly the backup date or the recovery snapshots that uh, have been taken by this uh, this uh, solution so you can select the last recovery point and then click on mount as you can see it is successfully mounted the volume so now you can select a specific uh, volume so you can see here this is CB like this is actually the volume um, that got attached from the Azure backup and then you can see your user uh, folder so you can restore specific or an, uh, specific files and folders um, if you needed to inst instead of restoring the entire um, C drive um, so which will increase also your restore time objective as well so if you don't need to fully restore the the C drive then you just have the option to uh, like you know to restore specific uh, files and folders once you're done you can just click on unmount and then uh, this will disconnect the drive letter so if we go back here we will see that the drive letter has been successfully disconnected if you would like to also change the retention policy, um, the existing one that you have created, you will see here these are all of the details, the settings, like you know, which um, which target locations that you are currently backing up, and then you can actually change the retention um, settings as well. So whether you would like to back up the system state, whether you would like to do more, so you can actually create a schedule also for the system state, or even stop using all backup schedules. Uh, so you can do a lot from that agent as well you can view also your available recovery points so if I click here you can see um, the latest recovery points 
the last backup the last backup was successful you can view like you know the details if you go from the azure portal um, under the backup infrastructure here so we are in the recovery services vault if we click on the backup infrastructure click on the backup agent we will see also uh, like you know the the windows server agent if we go back again into the backup items um, click on the backup items then you will see azure backup agent and then you'll see here these are the last or the backup items of the c drive of your protected windows server and you can view the details as you can see the item type the item type is uh, files and folder the computer name and also the recovery vault so that's it for the uh, today's video i hope that you have learned something new thanks for watching